saw someone sitting at a Mac desktop computer. All he had was a bat of Vaseline and a bag of Dorito chips. He had beautiful, red, shiny lips. <laughs> Let's talk about things that are trendy. <laughs> TikTok is trendy. <laughs> Scrunchies, imitation crab, um, talking about your comps. <laughs> you know what else is trendy? Being wary of government surveillance. <laughs> I don't know how else to say it. Having a little piece of tape to cover up the camera on your laptop is a move. Everyone's doing it. It's like your laptop joining a new cool club, or your laptop getting a new pair of jeans. There could even be an interest house for people who share this identity. It would be called the conspiracy theory interest house. And they would have distinctive traits. Like, in the house, there would be no fluoride, no microwaves. So insulation, tin foil. <laughs> there could also be an interest house where everyone spoke Greek and ate tzatziki. <laughs> I've heard some people in this house are dying for Greek life. <laughs> there could also be an ancient Rome interest house with a triclinium and maybe even an indoor bath. People would speak Latin and wear togas wash themselves with olive oil, <laughs> invade the Greek house. <laughs> or maybe the, uh, the conspiracy theory house would invade them. They would barge at the door saying, the Colosseum is fake, we've got to let this be known. <laughs> Let's talk about winter. <laughs> winter is different. It's, under, it's undeniable. I've started the training log for my running, I ran, the first day, I ran three miles. The next day, I was sick. <laughs> the next day, it was too cold. <laughs> Eventually, I just started logging my excuses for running instead of my mileage. And then I just started logging, excuse, excuse, excuse. <laughs> Even sitting on a bench becomes weird in the winter. If someone walks by and sees a snow-covered bench with a butt mark in it, <laughs> they'll think, why did they sit there? What happened to them? <laughs> what was wrong with them? The benches are purely decorative. Like artwork. Or boobies. <laughs> not, to touch, not to touch, just to ponder as you walk by. <laughs> Over on a break, I was driving home through a neighborhood and I saw some red and white flashing lights in my rearview mirror. At first I thought I was going to get pulled over, but they were Christmas lights. <laughs> I was going to get pulled over by a house with an inflatable Santa. <laughs> so, um, so uh, I, I decided to do synchrony this term with the goal of learning how to be sexy. <laughs> I thought this would be really practical for real life situations. <laughs> I would be at a party flirting with some guy, and the conversation would blow. And then I would just start sacred and crawling. <laughs> I would start kind of walking away. I would start sacred and crawling. <laughs> I've also been going to the gym to get toned. Some dudes at the gym wear weighted vests while they work out. You know, for added challenge. I think they should skip the vest and just wear a suit of armor. <laughs> Wearing chainmail is super heavy, and the metallic mesh screams style. <laughs> also, wearing armor at Carlton could just be another form of night swag. <laughs> Further, nothing says sexy like seeing a sweaty college kid lifting four pound free weights while wearing chainmail. <laughs> In fact, I don't even need to do synchrony to learn sexiness. I'll just start wearing armor. Who needs synchrony when you have chainmail? <laughs> I started working on a presentation this past week. I, um, I created a Google slide and shared it with my team members. I wrote the presentation title. And then it came time to write our names beneath the presentation. This is where I got stuck. <laughs> if you put your name first, it looks selfish. <laughs> but if you put your name last, it looks like you're trying too hard. <laughs> I had to figure out the right percentage of where to put my name in the list to make it look like I had done it randomly.
independently. I decided, and then whose name goes first? I decided to resolve this by creating a wheel and putting all of my group members <laughs> and spinning it like I was in Wheel of Fortune. I thought I might as well cut out the pictures of my group members and just not grab photos and paste those on the wheel. And then I thought, why not and just invite my group members over and we can all strap ourselves into a giant group and spin them. We could also gamble. <laughs> Winner takes all. Think if your name listed four times. <laughs> no one else is on it. So. <laughs> um, you know what would be a really fun hype party? Someone should throw a party and only invite the social captains of various clubs. <laughs> of all social captains, or supreme overlord. <laughs> the, the email would be hilarious. The theme, incredible. And the event, so hype. Best of yet, everyone would bend off. <laughs> I got invited to a party recently. I clicked on the email to see who else was on the list, and there were a lot of people. My name was the very last one. <laughs> I might as well not even go. <laughs> but then I thought, I've got to give them the benefit of the doubt. What if they were using a Wheel of Fortune to decide to? <laughs> um, over winter break, I, w I went to go see some live music with this boy I was hanging out with. But this can be really hard to do if you're underage. I thought about just showing my real ID because I'm about to turn 21 really soon anyways. And they may not, may not even notice. Then I thought about purchasing a fake ID that would make my age 23. <laughs> then I had a better idea. I could borrow my mom's ID. <laughs> she looks a lot like me, and she's 50 years old. I'm <laughs> for the cutoff. <laughs> the boy I was going with could pretend to be my son. <laughs> I talked to my mom about this idea, and she was game. She helped me put some flour in my hair and eyebrows to make them look gray. I put on some of her clothes. But even after I was wearing her trousers and blouse, I still had really youthful mannerisms. <laughs> she said to me, in order for this to be believable, you need to look like you have real responsibilities. <laughs> like I've had three kids. She's like, yeah. <laughs> You've got to look like you felt the weight of the world a little bit. <laughs> You've got to feel the weight pressing down on your shoulders. <laughs> so I said, I got it. I think I got it. And I showed up to the, uh, showed up to the date wearing chain mail. <laughs> Thank you. That's our show.